16 teams of four from 15 area high schools. This is the award-winning Scholarship Challenge on WATS Air, WAVR Waverly, and WABO We Go. A presentation of the locally owned and operated Radigan Broadcasting Group and Choice 102. The Twin Tiers Greatest Hits, 102.1 WABR Twin Tiers. <laughs> Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. Welcome back to the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. Today is the finals. We've made it to day three uh, for us this year. Normally, the event uh, takes place over, I think, five different dates. But uh, due to COVID and fewer teams and um, all kinds of changes this year, we're doing it in three dates. Today is the final day, the final broadcast. It's 12 o'clock or a minute after. And thank you for joining us. My name is Dave Radigan, and I am uh, standing next to my wife, Irene Radigan. We are the new owners of Choice 102 in the Valley. And Irene happens happens to be the host of our midday show from 10 to 2, Monday through Friday, and I follow her from 2 to 7, so you may have heard us on the radio. We thank you for listening to Choice 102, and of course, your hometown station, WEBO, who is broadcasting the first ever scholarship challenge on our five stations there this year. Welcome aboard to today's broadcast. We're live at the Sayer Theater today. Um, of course, due to COVID, we can't really have a full in-studio audience that we would normally have at the Patterson Auditorium, and they've been using the Patterson Auditorium to administer COVID vaccines this year. So everything's changed. Everything's different. And, uh, you know, the former owner, the former host of this uh, challenge, Chuck Carver, has retired. So it's all different this year. And we're moving forward with uh, several changes in place to uh, keep the event happening through COVID and through new ownership and new venues and all kinds of exciting things and changing stuff right up until the last minute. Right, Irene? Literally last minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We're uh, we're keeping it together here. So welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for joining us here today. We have four teams that have made it to the finals today. They are uh, Tioga Center, Newark Valley, Waverly, and Loyal Sock. They are all here in the theater with us today. And we begin today's broadcast with a drawing we did just before uh, air today to determine what the pairings would be. For, so for those of you who are playing along at home and following along on our bracket, on stage for our first pairing today is Newark Valley versus Waverly. Still to come, we will have Loyal Sock and Tioga Center, so please stay tuned for that. Let's begin by introducing the students. They've introduced themselves once before during uh, preliminary rounds, but in case you weren't listening then, and uh, to get you familiar with the teams now, let's start with Tim Bishop, the uh, team captain for Newark Valley. We'll introduce the Newark Valley Cardinals. Good morning, Tim. Thank you, Dave. I'm Tim Bishop. I'm a senior from Newark Valley, and this is actually my second time here at Scholarship Challenge. Uh, back at Newark Valley, I am a trombone player for our jazz and symphonic bands. I run on the cross country and track teams and am the secretary of the RNAP branch of the National Honor Society. In fall, I plan on attending college to study computer science. Very good. Thank you, Tim. And to his left, Avi Strohmeyer. Good afternoon, Avi. Uh, is that... Is that working? Okay, good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Avi. Uh, I'm a senior. This is my second time at Scholarship Challenge as well. I'm going to college uh, in the fall to study Mandarin Chinese, and I'm very thankful to be here today. We're very thankful to have you here today. Thank you, Avi, for joining us. And also to her left, Evelyn Medina from Newark Valley. Good morning or good afternoon. I can't decide whether it's morning or afternoon. <laughs> good thing I'm not up here answering questions today. <laughs> Well, thank you. Um, I am also a senior at North Valley High School. I am treasurer of Art Club and National Honor Society. I'm also president of Friends of Rachel, and I participate in our drama club at Newark Valley. I plan to attend Binghamton in the fall to major in biology and eventually teach biology in the high school. Excellent. Thank you, Evelyn. Right at home up here on stage at the Sayer Theater. And last but not least, to our far left from Newark Valley is Sam Durand. And I'm just going to say hello. 
Hello. Uh, thank you. I'm Samuel Durand. I'm a senior at Newark Valley. I'm the captain of both the baseball and soccer teams. I'm also a member of the National Honor Society. I plan to attend the Franciscan University of Steubenville in the fall, where I will study business and play baseball. Very good. Thank you, Sam. And to my right on stage here this afternoon from Waverly, Waverly Wolverines, we start with uh, team captain Rachel Smith. Good afternoon, Rachel. Thanks, Dave. I am the senior class vice president at Waverly High School. I am captain of the Waverly Varsity Girls Swim Team, and I play flute in the Waverly Concert and Marching Band. Next year, I plan on majoring in marine sciences at Eckerd College in Tampa, Florida, and I'd like to give a shout out to my second grade teacher, Mrs. Robinson, and all of the other teachers I've had. Uh, you guys are the reason I'm here. Thank you. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> to our right, Colin Wright. Thanks, Dave. I'm the senior class president here at Waverly. Um, I play trombone and I'm also a cross country runner just like Tim. I'm also the captain of the indoor track and outdoor track teams at Waverly and I plan to major in biology for my undergrad next year at college. Very good. Thank you, Colin Wright. To his right, Max Pan back on the stage from Waverly. Hello, Max. Hi. Thank you. I'm a senior in high school. I, I enjoy swimming and playing guitar and I plan on studying political sciences at Juniata. Very good. And to our far right this morning, Waverly Wolverine Haley Moran. Thank you. I'm a senior at Waverly High School. I'm in clubs such as International Club and Yes Leads, and I enjoy weightlifting. I plan to continue my education as SUNY Geneseo, majoring in psychology next year. Very good. Thank you, Haley. And for those of you listening at home, if you hear any words getting bleeped out on our broadcast today, it's me trying to say good morning when it's afternoon or good <laughs> afternoon if it's actually morning. It is live, by the way, here at the Sayer Theater. It is the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. All four teams playing today will win a cash prize when they leave here as finalists. I believe uh, the third and fourth place prizes are 500 apiece. The second place prize is $1,500. And the first place prize today is $3,000. A whole lot of bragging rights and this Kwasnowski Cup here on the front of the stage. More on that in just a bit. Our thanks to Newark Valley Principal Greg Oh, Greg. Greg. How do you pronounce his last name? Asbury. Okay, that. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Superintendent Ryan Doherty and our Newark Valley Cardinals Scholarship Challenge Team Advisor, Brittany Doherty. And from Waverly Wolverines, Principal Ashley Hunt, Superintendent Eric Knowles, who is here somewhere today, and Advisor Sandy Petron. Thank you all for participating in Scholarship Challenge. All right, let's get to it. Let's do some questions here. And uh, we begin. First question of the day. The suddenly broke Rose, uh, excuse me, the suddenly broke Rose family are forced to move to a community they actually own in which Emmy grabbing Netflix, Evelyn Medina, Newark Valley. Schitt's Creek. Schitt's Creek is the correct answer. Great start. <laughs> Second question of the day. Thought you, you were probably looking for something harder than that, weren't you? <laughs> Which pine tree state is known for its rocky coastline, maritime history, Acadia National Park, Rachel Smith Waverly? Maine. Maine is the state that also has uh, lighthouses, lobster shacks, and sandy beaches. Good job, Rachel. And do we have that score backwards? I think that we do. Should be that way. And that way. Now we're good to go. Okay. Question number three on the day. Lots to think about while we're up here. Which ancient Cambodian structure commissioned in the early 12th century is still used by Buddhist monks? That's a good question to let slide. Angkor Wat is the correct answer. All right. Question number four on the day. What was President Kennedy's middle name? Colin Wright, Waverly. Fitzgerald. That is correct. Good job. Another Kennedy question for you, number five on the day. After Robert Kennedy was assassinated in 1968, the Democrats' presidential nomination went to what incumbent vice president and former Minnesota senator who lost to Richard Nixon? Hubert Humphrey is the answer to that one. 
Question number six on the day. Which 11-letter word is the branch of science concerned with the processes and phenomenon of the atmosphere, especially as it means of forecasting the weather? Colin Wright, Waverly. Meteorology. That's correct. Great job, Colin. Question number seven. When he died last summer at the age of 88, he held the Guinness record for the most hours in front of a TV camera. Who was paired with both Kathy Lee Gifford and Kelly Ripa on a nationally syndicated morning show? Tim Bishop, just before the buzzer from Newark Valley. Uh, Regis Philman. That is correct. Great job, Tim. Question number eight. This is a math question. Edgar has four fewer cats than his friend Arnold, who has seven cats. The same number as their mutual pal, Tommy. How many cats do the three boys have? Sam Durand, Newark Valley. 18. That is incorrect. For Waverly, Edgar has four fewer cats than his friend Arnold, who has seven cats. The same number as their mutual pal, Tommy. How many cats do the three boys have? Rachel Smith, Waverly. 17. That is correct. Great job, Rachel. Question number nine on the day. Joe Morgan, Whitney Ford, Tom Seaver, and Al Colleen all died within a few weeks of each other in 2020. They were all retired all-stars from which professional? Sam Durand, Newark Valley. Baseball. Sport. Baseball. Yes, that's correct. Question number 10. Which domed building, which domed building uses 1st Street, Southeast, Washington, D.C. as its address? Sam Duran, Newark Valley. The Capitol. That is correct. Very good. We are 10 questions in now to the scholarship challenge. Uh, I guess we call this the first match of the day and first round. All of these questions have been 10 point questions. Waverly leads Newark Valley 40 to 30, only a 10 point difference between those two. Before we go to break, we're going to check in with Tim Bishop from Newark Valley, and he is going to tell us a bit about the Newark Valley School District. We are the Newark Valley Cardinals. Let's get your mic on here first, Tim. Okay, great. All right. Go ahead. We are the Newark Valley Cardinals. We have an enrollment at our high school of approximately 425 hardworking students and pride ourselves on both academics and athletics. Annually, the majority of our athletic teams are scholar-athlete teams, meaning the cumul cumulative average of all the players on the team is 90% or higher. We believe in developing well-rounded students who are ready to be contributing citizens in our society. As a result, we offer 20 college credit courses and a multitude of clubs and extracurricular activities to complement our coursework. We have been named as an advanced placement district honor roll recipient, one of only 250 schools to receive this prestigious award in the U.S. and Canada. We are ready to compete in the scholarship challenge. And off to a great start. Thank you, Tim Bishop. We will be back to Scholarship Challenge, the 41st annual. Today is finals. It's Newark Valley versus Waverly. Waverly leads by 10 points. And we'll be right back on the all-new Choice 102 and your hometown station, WEBO. You're listening to the First Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102. Presented by Simmons Rockwell on WATS, WAVR, and WEBO. First Citizens Community Bank is proud to partner with Choice 102 for the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge because they believe inspiring young minds is a mission that extends beyond the classroom. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders and each has a gift to develop. By supporting local educational programs like Scholarship Challenge, we are making an investment in the future. First Citizens Community Bank, committed to the communities we serve. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
One of the most respected and appreciated businesses in the Valley community is Jeff Paul Plumbing, Heating, and Electric. Serving residential and commercial customers for over 40 years, they started small and have continued to expand to meet the needs of the Twin Tiers. Offering high-quality service with a personal touch. There's one goal at Jeff Paul, your complete satisfaction. For plumbing, heating, and electrical, call Jeff Paul. One of the area's most respected law firms is also a longtime supporter of Scholarship Challenge. Attorneys are Joseph Landy, Damian M. Rossetti, and William Allen Shaw. Wish all of today's participants a rewarding, positive experience. Founded more than 60 years ago by Robert J. Landy, the Landy and Rossetti Law Firm specializes in criminal defense, wrongful death, personal injury, estate planning, gas and mineral rights, civil and commercial litigation, real estate, commercial transactions, and family Law, Landy and Rossetti on Desmond Street in downtown Sayre. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. Welcome back to the Sayer Theater. It is the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 and broadcast also live today on our five signals for your hometown station, WEBO, seven radio stations in all. Plus, we're streaming video on uh, Facebook Live as long as Matt gives me the thumbs up from the back row. That's a good sign. We are doing that. And you can also ask Alexa. If you have one of those in the room right now, we'll drive her a little crazy and say, Alexa, play W-E-B-O. Or you can also say, Alexa, play W-A-V-R, and she'll start playing either of our fine radio stations. Thanks for tuning in. On stage with us uh, is Waverly and Newark Valley in the final four here today. Waverly leads with 40 points to Newark Valley's 30 points. Each question we ask in the first round are 10 point questions. And in the second round, they're also 10 point questions. We're in the second round right now. When we get to the third round, there'll be 20 point questions apiece. If they get anything wrong, it's a 10 point penalty. So let's get back into it now with scholarship challenge. Our first question in this second round of match one in mythology, who slew the nine headed Hydra? Rachel Smith, Waverly. Hercules. That is Hercules. Great job. Waverly now leads 50 points to 30. It was discovered on January 1st, 1502, by a Portuguese explorer. Name this second largest city of Brazil that is home to Sugarloaf Mountain and a 130-foot statue of Jesus. Sam Duran, Newark Valley. Rio. Rio de Janeiro. That is correct. Good job on that. Thank you, Sam. All right, next question up. With the usual rate of tipping, this is a math question, with the usual rate of tipping in restaurants being between 15 and 20%, what would be the range of a tip if your bill came to $60? Out of time on that one. The answer... Nine to twelve dollars. Next question: Which book's subtitle was "A Ghost Story of Christmas"? Sam Duran, Newark Valley. A Christmas Carol. That's correct. Great job, Sam. Which of the following four choices is a large blood vessel that carries blood away from your heart? Vein artery, capillary, or nerve? Rachel Smith, Waverly. Artery. That is correct. Great job, Rachel. These guys are doing a great job, even with my mysterious pronunciations today. Here's another one for you. Alfred Nobel's is number 102, just after Enrico Fermi's and Dimitri Mendeleev's, and slightly before Otto Hahn's and Glenn Seaborg's. What do all of these men have named after them? Rachel Smith Waverly. Elements. That is correct. Very good. 70 points for Waverly right now, 50 for Newark Valley. Question 17 on the day. Which adjective went just before her initials in the nickname of the late Demure fire, uh, Firebrand Root? Uh, I don't know why we said that exactly that way. Let me do this again without that. 
Which adjective went just before her initials in the nickname of the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Rachel Smith from Waverly. Notorious. That's right. You got it. Better answer than question. Question 18 on the day. How many persons sit on the high court that Ginsburg once occupied? Sam Duran, Newark Valley. Nine. That is correct. Great job, Sam. Besides calcium, name one of the two other elements that comprise calcium carbonate, which groundskeepers use to line baseball fields. Rachel Smith, Waverly. Oxygen. Oxygen is one of them. The other one could have been carbon. Good job. You've got that correct. Last question before we go to break. What country can refer to a country, a type of meat, or three consecutive strikes in bowling? Max Pan from Waverly. Turkey. You got it. Good job, Max. Okay, that is the end of... Round two for match one, Waverly's on the board with 100 points. Newark Valley trails with 60 points. We've got 10 questions left in the next round. They're each worth 20 points apiece. So this can still go either way. Before we go to break, from our floor mic here in the Sayer Theater, we'd like to learn a bit more about our Waverly Wolverines and representing them as team alternate on the mic, Preston Tompkins. Hold on a second. We got to get that unmuted there, Sherry. Why don't you recite the alphabet while I turn that <laughs> microphone? Just a brief delay. Technical. See, that's why I'm standing here and Dave's over there. Would you like a new intro? We'll do take two on that. How's that sound? To learn a little bit more about the Waverly Wolverines, here's team alternate Preston Tompkins. Good afternoon, Preston. No go. Okay, you know what, Preston? Here's what's going to happen. We're going to go to break. When we come back, you're going to get to use my microphone. How about that? We're at the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. This was not previously recorded, nor has it been edited. If it was, we might have edited that part out. We're live on seven radio stations and the Internet, and we're at the Sayer Theater trying to give away some scholarship money today with Scholarship Challenge. This is the First Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge on Choice FM, presented by Simmons Rockwell on WATS, WAVR, and WEBO. The Twin Tiers Greatest Hits, 102.1, the all-new Choice FM. Simmons Rockwell makes it easy to shop, finance, and buy your car all online. Make car buying simple. When you click Drive Your Deal on thousands of vehicles at Simmons-Rockwell.com. More styles, more options, more wood types, and countertop options like Corian, granite, quartz, and butcher block. You'll be so proud of your new kitchen or bath from Croft Lumber Company. Stop in on Spring Street in Sayre today and check out the new displays featuring Yorktown, Kemper, and more. Ask for Greg, Sandy, Andrea, Carrie, or Jen and start planning your new kitchen or bath. There's also a large selection of luxury vinyl flooring, plus new showers glass shower doors, and vanities. Your kitchen or bath is waiting at Croft Lumber Company. More than just a lumber yard. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. It is the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge back from break now. Dave Radigan hosting alongside my wife, Irene Radigan, new owners of Choice 102 and longtime owners of your hometown station, WEBO. Before the break, you heard our first take of trying to get the school biography on the air from Waverly. We have joining us now on stage from the big shiny microphone here that we get to use. It is a team alternate from the Waverly Wolverines, Preston Tompkins. Preston, step on up to my microphone. Go right ahead. All right. Don't mind if I do here. <laughs> Take yourself at home. Oh, I'm already home. <laughs> the Waverly Central School District provides a quality educational program for all students. 
We offer a course sequence in engineering in collaboration with the Rochester Institute of Technology and the nationally recognized Project Lead the Way curriculum. We also offer advanced placement courses with, a, with college credit through the Corning Community College Accelerated College Education Program and college courses from the College Now program at Tompkins Cortland Community College in all course subjects. Under normal circumstances, our students participate in academic competitions including Kemble, Twin Tiers Quiz League, and of course, Scholarship Challenge. Our fine arts programs include photography, ceramics, drawing and painting, in addition to both instrumental and vocal programs that are among the best in our region. We offer leadership and team building opportunities with programs such as Yes Leads, Leadership Crew, and Student Council. Our athletic programs are diverse and successful with a wide range of participation in every season. We at Waverly are honored to participate in Scholarship Challenge and would like to wish all of the participants good luck. Thank you, Preston. Great job, Preston Tompkins, the alternate from the Waverly Wolverines team. It is the 41st annual Scholarship Challenge. You're hearing it on our seven radio stations across the Twin Tiers. This is an award-winning broadcast, or maybe not this one, but the ones before this have been award-winning broadcasts. Today's is uh, yet to be seen, but it won't be on you guys. You guys are doing great. Me? I don't know. Back to scholarship challenge school for me. All right. We are now in uh, towards the tail end of match one between Newark Valley and Waverly, two of the four finalists in this year's event happening here at today's broadcast. And on the third round, questions are now worth 20 points apiece. You guys ready? All right. Let's continue. When the U.S. removed Saddam Hussein from power, the nation of Iraq was freed from his tyranny. Spell the word tyranny. Tim Bishop, Newark Valley. T-Y-R-R-A-N-Y. -R -R that is incorrect. Sorry, Tim. For Waverly, spell the word tyranny. Rachel Smith. T-Y-R-A-N-N-Y. Rachel's got it. Good job. Waverly in the lead with 120 points. Newark Valley has 50 points. 20 point questions now. Give the, co uh, give the collective name for the four Canadian provinces, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and New Brunswick. Tim Bishop, Newark Valley. The Northern Territories. That is incorrect. Sorry, Tim. For Waverly, give the collective name for the four Canadian provinces, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and New Brunswick. Those are maritime provinces. Question number 23 of the day. What, uh, what town, 16 miles north of Boston, Massachusetts, and dominated by Puritans in the 17th century, was famous for its witchcraft trials. Evelyn Medina, Newark Valley. Salem, Massachusetts. That is correct. Good job, Evelyn. Which breed of dog played Lassie in the famous movie and TV series? Rachel Smith from Waverly. Border Collie. That is correct. Good job, Rachel. Which Christmas poem includes the line, not a creature was stirring. Rachel Smith Waverly. Uh, Twas the night before Christmas. Correct. Yes, you've got that right. Waverly's got 160 points in Newark Valley at 60. All right. Three U.S. presidents served between Martin Van Buren and Zachary Taylor. Name one of them. Sam Duran, Newark Valley. Harrison. William Henry Harrison. Good job. You've got that correct, Sam. John Tyler and James Polk were the others. All right. Moving on to the next question now. According to the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my what? Colin Wright, Waverly. Shepherd. You've got it. Good job, Colin. Name the group within the United Nations that has five permanent... Rachel Smith, Waverly. The Security Council. That's correct. The go ahead, you go ahead with your applause. Five permanent members in the United States. Yes, the United Nations Security Council. Score. Score. Got to go up. There we go. Thank you. All right. 
Name the home country of Impressionist painters Edgar Degas and Claude Monet. Rachel Smith Waverly. France. You've got that correct as well. Last question in this match. In a bubble or isolation zone, which team claimed its 17th NBA championship last October? Colin Wright, Waverly. The Lakers. Los Angeles Lakers. Good job. The hardest part of Scholarship Challenge is sending a team home, and it looks kind of like that's what's going to happen with our friends from Newark Valley. Thank you guys so much for participating today. Don't go anywhere because we want you to watch the show, and we want to hand you a check when it's all over. So please sit and relax and enjoy. And when we come back, we'll go to our next competition of the day. That will be Loyal Sock and Tioga Center. Congratulations, Waverly. Take a break in the seats, and we'll have you back up here shortly for the final, final, final round. Of scholarship challenge, which you're listening to on Choice 102 and your hometown station, WEBO. This is the First Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge on Choice FM, presented by Simmons Rockwell. The Twin Tiers Greatest Hits, 102.1, Choice FM. It won't be long before these students take their incredible energy and talents into the adult world. No doubt, making it a better place for all of us. A number of potential employers for the class of 2021 support our award-winning high school quiz. And we'd like to recognize that backing, which comes in the form of monetary gifts to our prize fund. We salute the following area employers. Guthrie, Claverack, Rural Electric Co-op, State Line Auto Auction, Perennial Challenge supporter Valley Energy as well as Visions Federal Credit Union. These firms are well aware that the future of the world in which we live is in the hands of its youth. Supporting this exciting Scholastic Radio program, they prove their commitment to education. Good luck, challengers. From the Twin Tiers employers listed here, along with Thomas Cremation and Funeral Service, the Law Office of Robert Chappelle, and Jenny Payne, CFP, in Rome. Scholarship Challenge unlocks the power of thought and unleashes the magic of the mind. Got fiber? We're talking about Fiber Internet, the fastest internet in town from Empire Access, delivered with a local hometown touch. You can have lightning fast Fiber Internet for just 50 bucks a month. Every month, no gimmicks with, with free, free installation. installation. Speeds of 100 meg down and 20 up with no data caps or hidden fees. Fiber means faster streaming, surfing, and gaming. Ask Empire Access about even faster gigabit internet. internet. Log on to EmpireAccess.com to score award-winning Fiber Internet for just 50 bucks a month. EmpireAccess.com. Staying on top of your finances has never been easier. IRFCU members can set up e-alerts for their accounts, like daily balance alerts, deposit alerts, withdrawal alerts, and more. Get a text, email, or even an alert sent right to your It's Me 247 message center. No waiting on hold, no wondering. IRFCU even offers easy-to-follow video tutorials on their website. Learn more by visiting IngersollRandFCU.com and sign up for e-statements today. Messaging and data rates may apply. <laughs> Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. We are back at Scholarship Challenge. It is the 31st. It is the what? Is that even a number? No. 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. Tongue tied here today. Dave Radigan hosting. Uh, alongside my wife, Irene, Chuck Carver was on the stage uh, two weeks ago uh, for what he claimed was his last broadcast of Scholarship Challenge. We contend that he'll be back again at some point, at least as a, a guest host or something to that effect to come on up here and help us stumble through some of these questions. We have uh, switched out teams in case you've just joined us here uh, at the Sayre Theater as part of this 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. Uh, Newark Valley and Waverly went against one another in the final four here today. And Waverly 
uh, has won. So they will be back here in just a little bit to take on the winner of this match. Joining us now on stage, to my left is Loyal Sock, and to my right is Tioga Center. So let's take a moment once again to introduce the teams who are participating today. So we'll start by going to my left. It's just a habit of what I always do. And we start with Arisha Mian. Yeah, my name is Arisha. I'm a senior at Loyal Sock. I'm a part of National Art Honor Society Drama Club and FBLA. I plan on um, studying history education when I'm going to college. Awesome. Thank you, Arisha. Next to her, Ben Grieco. Thank you. I'm a junior at Loyal Sock High School. I'm on the soccer team, and I plan on studying political science in college. Very good. And to Ben's left is Libby Walters. Hi, um, I'm a senior at Loyal Sock. I'm in Spanish Club, GSA, and FBLA, and I'm going to go to Wake Technical Community College in Raleigh. Very good, Libby. And to her left, Aaron French. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm a junior at Loyal Sock Township High School, and I plan to go to college for psychology. Very good. Thank you, Aaron. And to my right from Tioga Center, we start with Logan Cornell. Thank you. I am Logan Cornell, a junior at Tioga Central High School. I am a saxophone player in the band and a member of the Spanish club, as well as the Quiz League and Scholarship Challenge. I am an Eagle Scout, and I just want to say thank you for having me here. Thank you for being here and participating in Scholarship Challenge. Logan, I appreciate having you along. To Logan's right is Will Slater from Tioga Center. Thank you. I'm a junior in Tioga Central, and I participate in Science Olympiad and Quiz League. I plan to go to college for electrical engineering. Very good. Thank you, Will. To his right, Colt Harella. Thank you. I'm a junior at Tioga Central High School. I participate in Science Olympiad, Track, Cross Country, and Quiz League. And I would like to thank you for letting me be here. Thank you, Colt. It's nice to have you along. And to the far right over there is Jack Carey from Tioga Center. Good afternoon, Jack. Thanks, Dave. I'm a junior at Tioga. I have a part-time job at Foots Tire in Waverly and I plan to go to college for computer science. Very good. Now that we've met our teams, Loyal Sock and Tioga Center, we'll find out which of these, these two teams will go on to the uh, finals here this afternoon. We're uh, paring it down. And before we begin the questions, we'd like to thank the team advisor from Loyal Sock, Stacy Dangle, uh, the principal, Matthew Wrights, and Superintendent Gerald McLaughlin for the Loyal Sock Lancers. And for the Tioga Central Tigers, advisor, team advisor Jackie Bowen, Superintendent Scott Taylor, and Principal Josh Rowe. All right, are we ready, guys and girls? Here we go. First question of the second match of the day. Give the correct opposite of the word more as used in the sentence, I have more Sprite than you do. Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. Less. That's correct. What word can mean to study something carefully, the place through which you thread the thread a needle? Colt Harella, Tioga Center. I. That is correct. Which African American NASCAR star? Will Slater, Tioga Center. Wallace. Bubba Wallace, that's correct. And in case anyone was interested in the question, that was very good. You got that before really the question there. Um, which African-American NASCAR star received support from fellow drivers last June when a noose-like apparatus was found in his garage? The correct answer, Bubba Wallace. Good job, Will. All right. Four years after switching from Democrat to Republican, he was first elected as governor of California. Name his 20th century, you, name this 20th century U.S. president who followed Jimmy Carter to the Oval Office. Arisha Mian, Loyal Sock. Reagan. Ronald Reagan is correct. Good job. This one's a math question. If Chicago's sales tax is 6.7%, how much sales tax to the nearest penny would you pay on a toy that costs $2.99? Ben Greco, Loyal Sock. $12.14. It is incorrect. For Tioga Center, let's repeat the question. If the sales tax is 6.7%, 
How much sales tax to the nearest penny would you pay on a toy that costs $2.99? Out of time on that one, the answer is 20 cents. 20 cents sales tax on $2.99. The uh, students have five seconds to ring in and then 10 seconds to answer the question. For those of you who are listening along at home, who composed the Stars and Stripes Forever? John Philip Sousa. In which state did President John Kennedy die while riding in a November Arisha Mian loyal sock? Texas. Texas is correct. November 1963 in the motorcade. What empire descended from the Eastern Roman Empire? Logan Cornell Tioga Center. The Byzantine Empire. That's correct. Name this sport where... Let me start again. I don't do sports. <laughs> Name this sport where points are scored by smashing a shuttlecock or birdie. <laughs> Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. Badman. He does sports. Good job. Question number 10. English and Irish are both types of what breed of dog? <laughs> Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. Setter. That's right. An English setter or an Irish setter. All right, we've got 60 points for 60 points for Tioga Central, 10 points for Loyal Sock, and uh, we're going to take a break in just a moment. But first, we would like to learn a bit about the Loyal Sock School District, specifically the Loyal Sock Lancers. And to do that, to give us the school bio is team captain Arisha Mian. Thank you. Loyal Sock Township School District comprises on an area covering slightly over 21 square miles in Lycoming County, Pennsylvania, with approximately 500 students in grades 9 to 12. LTHS is on the forefront in PA, providing STEM in college and career ready readiness, allowing for student exposure to a wide variety of academic areas and wide array of course interests in post-secondary areas. A competitive student body has earned our school as a consistent U.S. News and World Report Silver Medal Award, 2014 recipient of the Governor's School for Excellence in Academics, and a 2014 National Blue Ribbon finalist. Thank you, sponsors, for the chance to compete, and good luck to our alumnus, Bean Hepler, on American Idol this season. Thank you, Arisha Mian from Loyal Sock Lancers. We we'll also want to say good afternoon to Kira Schweikel, who is an alternate on the Loyal Sock Lancers Scholarship Challenge team. Thank you for being here as well today. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, it'll be round two for the second match of the day. Ten-point questions continue. We are at 60 points for Tioga Central, 10 points for Loyal Sock. We'll be right back on Scholarship Challenge. Community Bank Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102. Presented by Simmons Rockwell on WATS, WAVR, and WEBO. A safety reminder from Valley Energy. If your meter or regulator freezes or is covered with snow or ice, the equipment may not operate properly. This may cause a safety hazard by causing the flow of gas into your home to become irregular. A gas meter blocked by snow also makes it difficult to have access to the meter if needed in the event of an emergency. You can help. Please keep your meter area clear of snow this winter. If you have any questions, give us a call. 570-888-9664. Valley Energy. Today's world demands you at your very best. So demand a college that helps you bring it out. At Elmira College, we offer students a balance of local arts and professional studies combined with rich traditions and forward thinking. To us, it's about creating an experience that celebrates who you are while preparing you for wherever you're going. Visit us online at elmira.edu and discover how Elmira College can help you get there. Thank Dandy, it's Wednesday. Dandy TDIW special is back for a limited time. Large pizzas start at $5.99 plus tax every Wednesday all day long, and toppings are just a dollar. Let Dandy take care of dinner Wednesday night. Breakfast pizzas are excluded from this promotion. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. 
Welcome back to the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. We are at match two, round two for the day. This is uh, kind of like the halfway point right here in the broadcast. And we're broadcasting today's uh, scholarship challenge on Choice 102, as it has been for the last 41 years, 102.1 FM and 960 AM in the Valley. And this year, uh, because of some ownership changes of things happening uh, around the area, now Choice 102 and WEBO are co-owned. And this event is so awesome that we couldn't not put it on Choice 102 and WEBO. So we welcome in the five WEBO stations as well, bringing us to a total of seven signals for today's broadcast. We are competing today for scholarship money. There are four teams in our final four. Go figure. Our uh, third and fourth place teams will take home a check for $500. Our second place team will win $1,500. And our first place team will win $3,000 and the coveted Kwasnowski Cup. And we give thanks to the Kwasnowski family who is here in our audience in attendance today. And we'll be presenting that trophy a little bit later on. Our also uh, big thanks uh, go to the fine folks at the Bradford County Regional Arts Council who are um, allowing us to use their beautiful Sayre Theater for this year's event. We lost our home temporarily at the Patterson Auditorium on the Guthrie campus when they started using that space for COVID vaccinations uh, early this year. Uh, they've completed using that location now, but we're already set up here, so we finished out the year here. But our thanks to the Bradford County Regional Arts Council, the staff and volunteers, uh, of the Sayer Theater for having us here. And uh, of course, our thanks to the folks at Guthrie who are always big supporters of this event. We finally found something bigger than the scholarship challenge, and that is the COVID vaccinations. And finally, a huge thanks to uh, our friends at Empire Access who are providing us with a blazingly fast one gigabit internet connection here at the Sayer Theater over uh, fiber to uh, stream all of this great stuff back out to the universe uh, in high definition video and audio on the uh, Choice 102 Facebook page. You can watch it there uh, if you like as well. So lots of cool things going on this year for the broadcast and some changes and maneuvers made to make this happen. And a few other uh, folks that we'll recognize for helping push those very heavy cinder blocks uphill as we move on in the broadcast. Let's get back to some questions now. Match two, round two on stage with us is Loyal Sock and Tioga Center. These questions are worth 10 points apiece. Give the term for the minor surgery often done to remove living tissue and check it for cancer. Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. Biopsy. That's correct. Good job, Logan. Identify the type of plant which is often created paint. Thank you. Lovely to have you by my side as always, <laughs> Mrs. Radigan. Identify the type of paint which is often created by mixing paint pigment with egg yolk. Arisha Mion, Loyal Sock. Tempera. Very good. The countries of Nicaragua, Haiti, Jamaica, and the island of Puerto Rico all border what large body of water? Southeast. Jack Carey, Tioga Center. The Caribbean. Caribbean Sea. Good job. Southeast of the Gulf of Mexico. In the U.S., which popular breakfast cereal comes in 15 varieties, including original, chocolatey delight, red berries, cinnamon pecan, fruit and yogurt, and oats and honey? William Slater, Tioga Center. Honey bunches of oats. That is incorrect. For Loyal Sock, in the U.S., which popular breakfast cereal comes in 15 varieties, some of them including original, chocolatey delight, red berries, Ben Greco, Loyal Sock. Cheerios. That's incorrect. Where's Matt Lewis in the audience? He probably knows this. He's our resident cereal expert and host of the morning show on Choice 102 and afternoons at WEBO. The answer we were looking for is Special K. He's more of a Captain Crunch kind of a guy, I've heard, though. <laughs> it's minor characters included a boss named Mr. Slate and small children named Pebbles and Bam Bam. Colt Herrera, Tioga Center. The Flintstones. The Flintstones is correct. <laughs> the cartoon series that gave us the phrase yabba dabba do. <laughs> All right. Halifax is the capital of what country's province of Nova Scotia? Arisha Mian, Loyal Sock. Canada. That's correct. Good job. Name the U.S. state whose flagship university is located in the city of Morgantown. Ben Greco, Loyal Sock. 
West Virginia. That's correct. Good job, Ben. From your math textbook, like a pyramid, the formula for its surface area involves its slant height as well as pi. Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. A cone. Wow. <laughs> I still wasn't even sure what the rest of the question was, and you've already got it right. Good job. Iberia is the national air carrier of what country? Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. Spain. Good job. This is our last 10 point question of the round. Spell the plural of the word knife. Jack Carey, Tioga Center. K N I V E S. Knives, that's right. Good job. Jack Carey's got the points for Tioga Center. That puts Tioga Central uh, in the lead 110 points to Loyal Sox 30 points. We are going to go to a break. When we come back, 10 more questions. They're worth 20 points apiece. So um, this game is still a match. Tioga Central leads Loyal Sox on the 41st annual scholarship challenge. Live from the Sayer Theater, this is the First Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge on Choice FM, presented by Simmons Rockwell. The Twin Tiers Greatest Hits, 102.1, the all-new Choice FM. If you have diabetes, you are at risk for eye disease. Everyone with diabetes should have a yearly eye exam to catch problems early. The skilled optometrists and ophthalmologists at Guthrie are here to meet your diabetic eye needs. Guthrie Specialty Eye Care is available at eight convenient locations in New York and Pennsylvania. Don't wait for symptoms to see an eye doctor. Call Guthrie Specialty Eye Care today at 1-800-4-SIGHT-2 or learn more at guthrie.org slash eyes. Southern Tier Audiology is proud to sponsor the 2021 Scholarship Challenge and commends all the students who have chosen to take part in this exciting academic competition. Southern Tier Audiology in Elmira, Vestal, and Cortland offers personalized solutions for you and your family, improving lives through better hearing superior customer service and the most advanced technology that's southern tier audiology live from the sayer theater in sayer pennsylvania choice fm proudly presents its signature community service event the 41st annual first citizens community bank scholarship challenge presented by simmons rockwell auto dealerships on choice 102 it is a great way to get to know your area school districts and a great way to give your announcer a 30 second break. We're checking in now with uh, Logan Cornell, who is the team captain of Tioga Central School District Scholarship Challenge team to tell us a bit about the Tioga Center Tigers. Tioga Central High School is a small rural school with an, with an enrollment of approximately 300 students located in the southern tier of New York. The academic program is designed to provide a solid foundation of learning. Our programs include Regents courses in all areas leading to the Regents Diploma. Students may choose from more than a dozen concurrent enrollment courses offering over 60 college credit hours. Tioga was a 2019 National Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. Tioga fields 12 athletic teams throughout the year that participate in all levels of competition. Our football and wrestling teams are state ranked. Other school activities include school musical, agriculture club, robotics team, academic challenge teams, and the science Olympiad. We would like to thank WATS, WAVR, and WEBO, as well as their sponsors for giving Tioga Central the chance to participate in this, year, this year's scholarship challenge. boy, Good job, Logan. Thank you for that. He said WEBO instead of Weebo, Matt. Did you catch that? <laughs> it is the scholarship challenge, and... Uh, I was asked yesterday, is it Tioga Center or Tioga Central? And of course it is Tioga Central, which is not only uh, the Tioga County, New York town of Tioga Center, but also Nichols. Uh, just a show of hands, which of you are from Nichols? See, half from Nichols and half from Tioga Center. Cool, and they are the school district in Tioga County, New York between Owego and Waverly. Nice to have you guys here as well as Loyal Sock and Newark Valley and uh, Waverly here today as well. 
All right, on with the questions now. It is Scholarship Challenge. This is our second match of the day. This is round three. These are 20 points apiece. And the score, by the way, is 110 to 30. Tioga Central leads Loyal Sock, but Loyal Sock can still come back with these 10 20 point questions. All right, enough numbers. While black and orange clad NFL, which black and orange clad NFL team is quarterbacked by Joe Burrow? Ben Greco from Loyal Sock. The Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals. Good job. Which lower amphibious part of a violin bow is held by a violin player in his hand? No violin players on the stage. It's called the frog. What female scientist who won a Nobel Prize for her discovery of polonium and radium? Logan Cornell? Curie. Marie Curie, yes, was born in Poland. Good job, Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. 130 points for them now, 50 for Loyal Sock. Name the U.S. state whose cities include Eugene, Salem, Arisha Mion, Loyal Sock. Oregon. You got it. Good job, Arisha. What object commonly found in classrooms and cafeterias is the Spanish word mesa? Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. Table. Table. He's a Spanish student. Good job. Name the mark of written pronunciation. Starting over. Sorry about that. Name the mark of written punctuation that separates coordinate adjectives, separates a city from a state, and separates Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. A comma. That is correct. Good job. Four questions left now. You can find it in the solar wind, in neon signs, in lightning, and even in some television displays. Give the physics term for this so-called fourth state of matter. Logan Cornell, Tioga Center. Plasma. Plasma is correct. Good job. Which 19th century American who wrote Leaves of Grass? I don't know why we said which. Name the 19th century American. Oh, we're going to start that over. All right. Uh, which 19th century American wrote Leaves of Grass? Tried real hard to find an answer for that question. It's Walt Whitman. Second to last question in this round. Name the U.S. state that contains both the Mark Twain National Forests and the Mark Twain Cave. Arisha Mion, Loyal Sock. Missouri. That's right. Good job, Arisha. Final question. Critics say it's her most introspective and emotionally raw album yet. Who performs folklore? Libby Walters, Loyal Sock. Taylor Swift. <laughs> you got it. Good job. All right. That brings us to the end of this match. And as I said earlier, the hardest part of scholarship challenge is sending a team home. And at the end of this match, uh, Tioga Central has defeated Loyal Sock 190 points to 110 points. Pretty high scoring game, if you ask me. Thank you, Loyal Sock. Isn't this your first year competing in Scholarship Challenge? That is fantastic. Congratulations to you guys for coming so far in an event that you've never participated in before. That's pretty awesome. So thank you to your advisor and your school district. We appreciate you being here today. Please stay with us in the audience here at Sayer Theater because we do have a check to present to you a little bit later on here in the broadcast. Congratulations to our friends at the Tioga Central School District. Looks like you'll be staying on stage for the finals. We will be right back here from the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge, sponsored, of course, by FCCB and Simmons Rockwell. We've got questions to go through. It is the championship round, and it will be Tioga Center and Waverly here on stage when we come back. Right back with more for Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge from the Sayer Theater on Choice 102. Presented by Simmons Rockwell. The
Choice First Citizens Community Bank is proud to partner with Choice 102 for the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge because they believe inspiring young minds is a mission that extends beyond the classroom. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders and each has a gift to develop. By supporting local educational programs like Scholarship Challenge, we are making an investment in the future. First Citizens Community Bank, committed to the communities we serve. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Stateline Auto Auction is family owned and operated, where the employees are considered family too. Stateline is pleased to support the Scholarship Challenge family with this year's sponsorship because the young minds competing today are the future. Good luck, challengers from the Barber family at Stateline Auto Auction on Talmadge Hill in Waverly. Since 1981, the best in the business, where the greatest asset is the people who work there. Some jobs are just about money. At Elderwood, it's about your career and the connections you make. Check out the opportunities at Elderwood. Right now, CNAs can earn a generous sign-on bonus for full and part-time positions. The rewards you'll find at Elderwood don't all come in a paycheck. You see them in the faces of the people whose lives you touch every day. For more info, visit elderwood.com or text I care to 97211. It's an impressive list. Those individuals, companies, and organizations which contribute the prize money each year at Scholarship Challenge. We call them patrons. And we know they're proud of their relationship to the most respected quiz competition in the Twin Tiers and beyond. We now stand and salute their generosity and support for the students selected to appear on our stage each year. They include education associations from many districts, which supplement the tremendous work they do in the classrooms each and every day. With their generous checks, we recognize teachers from Northeast Bradford, Tioga Central, Troy, Wyalusing, and Sayre, plus longstanding major contributor, the Athens Area Education Association. This broadcast thanks student, educator, parent, and administrator alike for their dedication and what their collective efforts mean to our community. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. It is the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge, and we are back at the Sayre Theater uh, live today, unscripted, mostly, partially, somewhat. The transitions are unscripted. The questions are scripted, thankfully. Um, and we are doing our finals today. It is the final matches. And we have now narrowed it down to Tioga Central and Waverly. Our first and second place teams are on stage. One of them will walk home with a $1,500 check. One of them will walk home with a $3,000 check. We're just not sure which one's which yet. We're going to take a quick break. Connor, who's back at the studio, I need you to play a couple of spots for me. And we will be back on stage here in a minute with the exciting finale here of Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell. The Twin Tiers Greatest Hits. Hits. 102.1. Choice FM. Just because the dreary cold weather is here doesn't mean we can't have beautiful, vibrant flowers and greenery to enjoy. Creations by Lowry has holiday wreaths, dish gardens, gorgeous centerpieces, soap flowers, floral arrangements, and balloons for all occasions. Visit flowersbylowry.com to place your online order. Family owned and serving you. Creations by Lowry, South Main Street, Athens. Just because the dreary cold weather is here doesn't mean we can't have beautiful, vibrant flowers and greenery to enjoy. Creations by Lowry has holiday wreaths, dish gardens, gorgeous centerpieces, soap flowers, floral arrangements, and balloons for all occasions. Visit flowersbylowry.com to place your online order. Family owned and serving you. Creations by Lowry, South Main Street, Athens. First Citizens Community Bank is proud to partner with Choice 102 for the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge because they believe inspiring young minds is a mission that extends beyond the classroom. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders and each has a gift to 
to develop by supporting local educational programs like Scholarship Challenge, we are making an investment in the future. First Citizens Community Bank, committed to the communities we serve. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. For over 150 years, Tioga State Bank has been here to help. We've helped our communities through two world wars, the Spanish flu, the Great Depression, the Great Recession, and everything in between. And now, we're here for you again. We're working around the clock to help small businesses remain open for generations to come. And we plan on being Refinance here another and save. 150 Relax years. Relax with a lower auto and loan rate at Guthrie Federal Credit Union in Sarah or Troy. Get 1% cash back, up to $500, and make no monthly payments for 60 days. Apply in person or online at GuthrieFCU.org. This special applies to new and used autos only financed with other lenders. Certain restrictions apply. Rate based on credit score, model year, and trim. The lobby is by appointment only. The road to a better car loan starts at Guthrie FCU in Sarah and Troy. Equal opportunity lender, member NCUA. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. It's the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge and perhaps a little bit better uh, organized than I was a moment ago. Thank you for uh, bearing with me for an extra break. We've kept every note card, scrap of paper ever since the very first Scholarship Challenge, and they are all inside this podium here today. But we found the one piece of paper I was looking for. We're good to go now. Thank you very much for bearing with us. And by the way, we have met both teams. We have learned about all of the school districts. Waverly is to my left. Tioga Center is to my right. One of these two teams today will be the champion, and we will find out inside the next three rounds. We've learned also that Waverly Wolverines have a co-advisor, and we'd like to thank Rod Chamberlain for his help on that team, doing a wonderful job. Now, by the way, Waverly has won the scholarship challenge in 2002, 2006, and 2007. Tioga Central has won Scholarship Challenge in 1981, 1982, 1987, and 1992. No pressure for any of you guys on stage here today. All right, the first round of questions, just as we've done in the past, are all 10-point questions. We'll go through 10 of them for our first round of this championship. Everybody ready? All right, here we go. Moderna Therapeutics and Pfizer were the first to bring us vaccines for COVID. Spell vaccine. Rachel Smith, Waverly. V-A-C-C-I-N-E. That is 10 points for Waverly. Good job, Rachel. Name the computer firm based in Texas whose logo includes a slanted capital letter E. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Remember those ads from all those years ago? What adjective describes a math fraction if both the numerator and the denominator have a fraction in them? Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Complex. Complex fraction is correct. What biome contains a deep layer of soil called permafrost? Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Tundra. Tundra is correct. Name the specialized type of golf club created with its head at a very steep angle whose main types include gap, lob, pitching, and sand. Rachel Smith, Waverly. Wedge. That is correct. Good job. Sulfur dioxide has what chemical formula? Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. SO2. SO2 is correct. Good job, Logan. We are uh, just about neck and neck. That put Tioga Central in the lead 30 to 20. Name the U.S. state whose Declaration of Rights was a precursor of the Bill of Rights. Rachel Smith, Waverly. Virginia. Virginia is correct. Good job. 
It's the geographic term for a narrow strip of land that connects two larger land masses, Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. An isthmus. That is also correct. Good job. Give the term for a group of people, usually six or 12, who deliberate until they have decided a court case. Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Jury. Jury is correct. If you haven't had a varicella shot, you should get one so you can avoid getting what avian sounding itchy disease? Rachel Smith Waverly. Bird flu? That is incorrect. For the benefit of Tioga Center, I'll repeat the question. If you haven't had a varicella shot, you should get one so you can avoid getting what avian sounding itchy disease? Colt Herella, Tioga Central. Chicken pox. Chicken pox is correct. Good job. All right, those are all 10 pointers, and that puts us uh, on the scoreboard with 60 points for Tioga Central and 20 points for Waverly. I've got a bunch of 10 pointers when we come back. This is the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. University, we're proud to offer affordable, life changing education with more than 40 degree programs. From two-year degrees to bachelor's and master's programs, Mansfield University has something for everyone. Small class sizes allow students to receive a personalized, hands-on education, making the value of your degree go even further. Learn how an affordable education at Mansfield University can benefit you at mansfield.edu. More styles, more options, more wood types, and countertop options like Corian, granite, quartz, and butcher block. You'll be so proud of your new kitchen or bath from Croft Lumber Company. Stop in on Spring Street in Sayre today and check out the new displays featuring Yorktown, Kemper, and more. Ask for Greg, Sandy, Andrea, Carrie, or Jen and start planning your new kitchen or bath. There's also a large selection of luxury vinyl flooring, plus new showers, glass shower doors, and vanities. Your kitchen or bath is waiting at Croft Lumber Company. More than just a lumber yard. Simmons Rockwell makes it easy to shop, finance, and buy your car all online. Make car buying simple. When you click drive your deal on thousands of vehicles at Simmons-Rockwell.com. <laughs> Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. It is the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge, and it's Dave Radigan. Uh, co uh, hosting here today with my wife, Irene Radigan. And boy, you know, Mr. Carver told me when we get to finals, everything just gets more and more exciting as we go. But boy, I think he undersold it just a little <laughs> bit as to how exciting things really can be here at the last moment. We have so many handwritten notes up here on the podium today that uh, it's interesting to keep up to date with all of them. I am going to start here the second round. We have 10 point questions. And oh, by the way, Preston Tompkins steps in on the Waverly Wolverines team, uh, subbing in for Haley Moran. There's um, so many school districts that normally participate in this event. Usually it's around 25 school districts. This year we had uh, 14 school districts participate with 15 teams. The Athens uh, area school district provided two teams. Our teams are four members on them. And um, if you have eight members, then you can submit two teams. But if you have more than four, but less than eight, you have alternates. And so uh, Preston, I guess, are you, were you an alternate on this team? Uh, that I am. Yeah. All right. So he gets to sub in with uh, Haley. So it's nice to have uh, the five folks from the Waverly Wolverines join us, but I just wanted to say hello to Preston and give uh, our listeners at home the opportunity to learn a little bit more about the game. All right, Irene, what are we doing here with this first question? Let's just go here to 12 and I'll do the one. Okay. All right, here we go. In economics, what upward sounding concept can be defined as the percentage difference between the rise in nominal gross domestic product and the rise in real gross domestic product? Time's up on that one. The answer we're looking for is inflation. 
Which team, the first to win a championship in a so-called COVID-19 bubble, took the Stanley Cup in late September for the second time? I don't do well with hockey questions either. Tampa Bay Lightning is the answer we were looking for. What word, starting with C, is the Roman god of love who is Rachel Smith, Waverly Wolverines? Cupid. You got it. Good job. During the golden age of ancient Athens, that was a, uh, that was a buzzer there for a second, a timing buzzer. We're going to start over again with the timing correct now. We have 60 points on the board for Tioga Central and 30 for Waverly. During the golden age of ancient Athens, what philosopher committed suicide by drinking Corn uh, Logan Cornell, Tioga Central? Socrates. Socrates drank, drank hemlock to commit suicide. What English word can mean finished as an adjective or to finish as a verb? Complete is the answer we were looking for. In biology, the suffix O-M-A indicates what type of growth that is sometimes cancerous. Rachel Smith, Waverly. Tumor. That's correct. Good job, Rachel. 70-40 is the score. Tioga Central in the lead. In a triad of statues in ancient Asian art, which religious figure was usually the figure in the middle? Buddha. In the first chapter of the novel Robinson Crusoe, what does Robinson want to do instead of going to college or to work? A thing that his father pleads with him not to do. Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Join the military? Judges? Or enlist? I'm going to say no to that. For the benefit of Waverly, nice try, Logan. Waverly, in the first chapter of the novel, Robinson Crusoe, which, uh, what does Robinson want to do instead of going to college or to work? A thing that his father pleads with him not to do. Go to sea. Which zodiac constellation looks like a set of scales representing... Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Lyra. Can you repeat, please? Lyra. Lyra. Sorry, that is incorrect. For the benefit of Waverly Wolverines, which zodiac constellation looks like a set of scales representing balance and justice? Libra is the answer. Identify the figure of speech used in the sentence, when people could see my underwear, I thought I would just die. Rachel Smith, Waverly Wolverines. Hyperbole. All right. Good job, Rachel. You got that correct. She spent, we spent more time trying to pick that question than she did <laughs> trying to answer it. All right. Uh, at the end of the second round, we are tied 50 to 50, Tioga Central and Waverly. Uh, it's neck and neck. We've got one round of questions left. There's 10 questions between here and there, and they're worth 20 points apiece when we come back on the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge live from the Sayer Theater. Theater. This is the First Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge on Choice FM. Presented by Simmons Rockwell on WATS, WAVR, and WEBO. The Twin Tiers Greatest Hits, 102.1. The all-new choice of M. For over 150 years, Tioga State Bank has been here to help. We've helped our communities through two world wars, the Spanish flu, the Great Depression, the Great Recession, and everything in between. And now, we're here for you again. We're working around the clock to help small businesses remain open for generations to come. And we plan on being here another 150 years and beyond. 
Tioga State Bank, here to help. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Life can sometimes throw curveballs at us when we least expect it. When the unexpected happens, it's nice to know you have someone you can count on. Lowry Urban Funeral Home and Cremation Services is here for you and your family. Being family-owned themselves, they understand how important the fine details are. Whether you're pre-planning or coordinating a service, their compassionate staff is there with you every step of the way. Visit LoweryFuneralHome.com for more information. Lowry Urban Funeral Home and Cremation Services, South Main Street, Athens. Just because the dreary cold weather is here doesn't mean we can't have beautiful, vibrant flowers and greenery to enjoy. Creations by Lowry has holiday wreaths, dish gardens, gorgeous centerpieces, soap flowers, floral arrangements, and balloons for all occasions. Visit FlowersByLowry.com to place your online order. Family owned and serving you. Creations by Lowry, South Main Street, Athens. <laughs> Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. <laughs> we are back at Scholarship Challenge, the 41st Annual. It is Dave Radigan hosting and uh, with me by my side, my wife, Irene, co-owners of the all new Choice 102, new owners of the station and uh, longtime owners of your hometown station, WEBO. And you always wait until two seconds before we come back to ask me a really important question. And then anyway, <laughs> it's funny. We're having fun here today. I don't know if you guys, are you guys having fun? fun. Yeah. Are you sweating bullets yet? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweating bullets up here. It's the lights make it warm, but that's not even why we're warm here. Tioga Central's up on stage along with Waverly. We're down to these two guys. And of course, with 10 questions left in the competition, we're tied at 50-50. Wow. All right. We have tiebreaker questions if we're still tied 10 questions from now. These are all 20 point questions. Everybody take a deep breath. <laughs> we ready? Let the let it out. Let it out. Yeah, don't hold it in. Don't hold it in. We don't want you passing out. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Live radio. <laughs> FC Barcelona is a top soccer team in what European country? Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Spain. That's correct. Great job, Logan. Tioga Central takes the lead 70 to 50. Following World War I, Warren Harding was elected U.S. president. He promised that the country would be usual and typical again. The slogan he used was Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Return to normalcy. Very good. Good job. Leonard Bernstein brought us the Sharks and the Jets in which Broadway? Rachel Smith, Waverly Wolverines. West Side Story. Very good, Rachel. Feels kind of like the Sharks and the Jets up here right now. <laughs> Give the term for the 17th century group of French Protestants who left France hoping for religious freedom. Huguenots. Name the Winter Olympics sport where contestants shoot guns after each Rachel Smith Waverly Wolverines. Biathlon. After each cross country skiing lap. That's right. Biathlon. Good job, Rachel. <laughs> five questions down, five left, and you guys are stressing me out. <laughs> We're tied again at 90 points each. Could be here all day, folks. All right. Which brand of science studies the earth? Excuse me. Which branch of science studies the earth, the layers of the earth? Will Slater, Tioga Central. Geology. That's correct. What legendary British rock group featured John Lennon and Paul McCartney? Colt Harella, Tioga Central. The Beatles. Attaboy. <laughs> Fab four. Give the art term for a set of newspaper or magazine clippings. Logan Cornell, Tioga Central. Collage. Very good. Glued to a piece of cardboard. It's collage. 
Two questions left. The score is 150 to 90. Tioga Central is in the lead. Name the American author and devotee of Ralph Waldo Emerson, who wrote the essay Civil Disobedience and a book called Walden. Preston Tompkins, Waverly Wolverines. Thoreau. That's very good. Good job, Preston. Correct. In sports, it's a noun meaning the defensive act of keeping an offense from scoring. In life, it's what parents say to children to make them cease doing something obnoxious or dangerous. Rachel Smith, Waverly Wolverines. Stop. That's correct. <laughs> We're going to stop right there. That is all of the questions, and Tioga Central has pulled it out. That was a one-question lead over Waverly. You guys did a great job. If we had 10 more questions, you guys would be back and forth at it all afternoon, I guarantee it. I am so impressed. Great job to Rachel Smith, Colin Wright, Max Pan, Preston Tompkins of the Waverly Wolverines, and congratulations, Logan Cornell, Will Slater, Colt Harella, Jack Carey of Tioga Central, our new champions of the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. Great job, guys. Please stay up uh, on stage with me for a moment while I figure out what exactly it is we do next here. But I know that there are check presentations and awards to give out. So please stay tuned for this exciting conclusion of the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 and WEBO live from the Sayer Theater. You're listening to the First Citizens Community Bank Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102. Presented by Simmons Rockwell on WATS, WAVR, and WEBO. The young men and women who grace this stage today represent their schools, their families, and their communities. Have a bright future awaiting them, and we can't wait to see it unfold. While we focus on their amazing accomplishments today, we also want to highlight the contributions of our local service organizations, which comprise our Scholarship Challenge prize purse each year as their way of showing support for these outstanding students. We appreciate our relationship with the Rotary Clubs of Sayre, Athens, and Tawanda, the Sayre L the Valley Unico Chapter, Sayre Athens Lions, and major givers, the Athens Township Police Benevolent Association, and the Valley Kiwanis. Good luck, challengers, from the service clubs of our region. From patron contributors, former challenge judge Ron Prados, former Sayre and Athens School Administrators Dean and Pam Hosterman, challenge creator Chuck Carver and his wife Michelle, a longtime volunteer, and from our donors this year, the Kwasnowski and Lucas families, reflecting their cherished association with this broadcast. First Citizens Community Bank is proud to partner with Choice 102 for the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge because they believe inspiring young minds is a mission that extends beyond the classroom. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders and each has a gift to develop. By supporting local educational programs like Scholarship Challenge, we are making an investment in the future. First Citizens Community Bank, committed to the communities we serve. Member FDIC equal housing lender. The 275 member strong staff and local management at Volcraft New York in Chemung are proud to support today's contestants at Scholarship Challenge. The same values we exhibit every day at our plant. Hard work, personal responsibility, a team approach, and safety are also evident on stage today. Volcraft New York considers it a privilege to sponsor the broadcast and to support the youth of our community. Good luck to the 2021 Scholarship Challenge participants. One of the most respected and appreciated businesses in the Valley community is Jeff Paul Plumbing, Heating, and Electric. Serving residential and commercial customers for over 40 years. They started small and have continued to expand to meet the needs of the Twin Tiers. Offering high quality service with a personal touch. There's one goal at Jeff Paul, your complete satisfaction. For plumbing, heating, and electrical, call Jeff Paul. <laughs> Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Scholarship Challenge. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. 
It is the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge, and we are about to crown a uh, new winner here for this year. Congratulations, Tioga Central School District. They uh, have just narrowly defeated Waverly by one question to bring them a $3,000 prize. We are streaming live on Facebook right now and recording this video for history's sake, which will be available on YouTube later on for all these kids to uh, watch when they go home later on and uh, see how this competition played out from the viewer's side and listener's side today. We are going to uh, do a couple of presentations here, and we have everybody up on stage at the moment. We're going to start by going with uh, fourth place. Could someone bring me that? Uh, wireless mic. Does that wireless mic work still, guys? Let me have that wireless mic, please, so I, I can untether from the podium here. We are going to start with uh, our fourth place today, and that is Loyal Sock, which is uh, right over here. Irene, I'm going to have you head over that away. And uh, Loyal Sock, you guys have a, uh, a great team. You did a wonderful job this year. Tell us a little bit about your experience on your first scholarship challenge. Interesting for sure. Like we're all new at this and we'll be kind of nervous at first, but I think we did pretty good. It is on. You're going to have to repeat that now. I think we're on now, right? There we're on now, yes. Right, well, all right, there you go. Live this radio, is, folks. This is an interesting experience, uh, definitely. <laughs> you know, this is our first time doing it and we didn't know what to expect, but I think we did a good job nonetheless. Absolutely. Absolutely. You did do a wonderful job. We're very proud of you. And thank you guys for participating in Scholarship Challenge this year. Uh, we're really pleased to have you here. Will you come back again next year? Would you do it again? Well, I'm graduating this year, so not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm graduating too. Oh. How about you? Any juniors on the Loyal Sock team? Who knows? Who knows? He said then. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you loved it? Yeah, it was a great experience. That's awesome. We loved having you guys here, too. There are a dozen other teams who are at home today listening to this broadcast who attempted to be up here this year. We thank all of them for participating and, and giving it their all. And sometimes it just comes down to a single question and you never know how it's all going to end. But in your first attempt at Scholarship Challenge, you guys made it to the, the finalists and uh, came in fourth place. And we appreciate you guys for coming up here. So today your school district wins a five hundred dollar prize from Scholarship Challenge. And thank you guys very much for being here. We appreciate it. In third place and to my left over my left shoulder is the team from Newark Valley. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Uh, here you go, Irene. Thank you. Keep that on. Okay, it's on. All right. And uh, tell us a little bit about your experience this year as participants in Scholarship Challenge. Oh, it was super fun. This was my first year, but it was really cool because Tim and Avi got to do it last year. So we really learned from the best and we really came together as a team. That's the most important. I'd say so. You guys did a really wonderful job here. And thank you for participating this year from Newark Valley, the Newark Valley Cardinals, taking home a prize of $500 for your school district this year. Thank you guys very, very much. In second place this year is the uh, Eric Knowles team from the Waverly Central School District, the Waverly Wolverines, and uh, Rachel Smith is the team captain. You hit that buzzer a whole pile of times, Rachel. Talk to us a little bit about your experience here on Scholarship Challenge this year. Uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, it was a really great experience. I know the team and I have had a lot of fun. We have a really great team. They're all amazing. Uh, I mean, I'd like to thank uh, our advisors, my mom, Sandy Petrin, and Mr. Chamberlain, who's listening from home. And I'd like to congratulate the Tioga team on their performance. Excellent. Thank you, Rachel. Second place prize for Scholarship Challenge this year brings you a plaque and a check for $1,500 from Scholarship Challenge and all of its wonderful patrons who support this fine broadcast each and every year. Thank you so much, Waverly Wolverines, for participating this year. I welcome to the stage. I welcome to the stage now uh, Marie and Dan Kwasnowski. If you wouldn't mind dragging that enormous trophy out here. This trophy is named the Kwasnowski Cup, and if you wouldn't mind, tell us about its origin. Uh, our son Daniel passed away, 
our son Daniel, who passed away when he was 19, was a member of the scholarship challenge team when he was in Athens High School, graduate, graduating in 1984. And after his passing, Chuck asked if he would, uh, if we would be willing to allow him to use his name in the cup, and we, of course, agreed. So that's how that all began. Your son and you guys were uh, able to be just a, a couple of our very small handful of people who were here in the audience today. We couldn't have a live in-person audience this year because of COVID, of course. And we're in a new venue this year, but you guys got to come here and watch today's finals. Tell us a little bit about what you saw today in these students here up on stage. Well, as always, it's exciting and interesting to watch and to hear how they respond to various questions that we may think are just the uh, shoe-ins and they're thinking hard about them, but then of course that's an age thing. Uh, <laughs> we're excited to be here. We're sorry we missed the finals last year since uh, the COVID, but we're happy that all the teams could participate this year. And uh, we congratulate everyone, and most especially of course the winners. On behalf of our children, uh, Lisa and her husband, Jim Lucas, our son, Matthew, and his wife, Erica, our son Michael and his wife Margo and their two children Noah and Selah who I think are all trying to watch us on Facebook today from all over the world including Belgium so hey, hello um, Belgium <laughs> <laughs> yes hello Belgium yeah um, and so we're, we're just excited to be here to present the uh, trophy to the team from Cayuga uh, Central and, and the team captain Logan Absolutely. And why don't you join us up here, uh, Tioga Central? Why don't you guys come on over? Uh, we'll have you go right in front of the podium here. We've got to try to trying to minimize uh, our COVID exposures here as much as possible. Would, would you guys mind stepping up in front with them as well? Okay. I know normally we do the, the team captain, but why not? We'll just uh, go ahead and present to everybody all, all at once here. Logan Cornell is the team captain for Tioga Central. And he is joined by Will Slater, Colt Harella, Jack Carey. And they are uh, the winners this year of the 41st Annual Scholarship Challenge. And as Marie and Dan Kwasnowski present them with the Kwasnowski Cup, go ahead, Logan, and grab a hold of that thing. It's uh, heavier than it looks. It is not filled with brown M&Ms, but it is heavy. And uh, as Marie and Dan pointed out, this broadcast today is a broadcast that could not take place last year. It is the one year anniversary, if you will, of this global pandemic, and it shut everything down last year and the 11th hour, quite literally of the 40th scholarship challenge. This event had to be canceled and uh, the four finalist teams were uh, uh, given uh, an equal prize. The top four prizes were divided up equally. Their names will be placed on the trophy as the 40th annual winners. And then these guys here from Tioga Central will be joining them as the 41st annual scholarship challenge winners on that Kwasnowski Cup. And now, of course, we present to them a giant oversized check signed by my wife, Irene, to the Newark Valley School District or the uh, Tioga Central School District. Oh my God. For $3,000, our first place prize in this year's scholarship challenge. Congratulations once again, Tioga Central. Thank you guys very much. And uh, if you want to come back this way, I will uh, excuse our teams to the wings of the stage. You guys can go ahead and, and head back out towards the, the uh, stage or towards the uh, theater seats. And uh, as we prepare to wrap up our scholarship challenge, there are an awful lot of people that are uh, working so hard behind this broadcast to make it possible every year. Obviously, I'm not one of them, but Irene is one of them. My wife, thank you very much for being up here with me today and correcting me when I mispronounce words. Our entire engineering table who keeps us on the air. Connor, our board operator back in the studio, Sally and our judges table here who are following along with the questions and answers, making sure that the correct answers are correct and answered correctly. And then there's one other person who's refusing to come up on stage right now, but needs to come up on stage anyway. And that is our station manager who has been with Choice 102 for the last 19 years. 
We inherited her when we purchased the radio stations from Mr. Carver in November, and Sherry Iyer is one of the people that makes Scholarship Challenge work uh, beautifully. She handles our virtual Scholarship Challenge luncheon and uh, all of the registrations and all of those things throughout the course of the year. Irene, if you would not mind presenting Mrs. Iyer with a little small token of our appreciation today. Guys. <laughs> our thanks, of course, also to our sponsors, FCCB, First Citizens Community Bank, Simmons Rockwell as well, and a long list of other giant scholarship challenge supporters who have supported this broadcast year after year after year after year. We are live at the Sayer Theater. They are one of our sponsors and our home for this year. Thank you so much for having us. And we look forward to being back again next year with the 42nd Annual Scholarship Challenge, wherever we may land, to do it all once again here on Choice 102 and your hometown station, WEBO. For the entire crew, thanks for tuning in and have a great day. The production of Choice FM in cooperation with area school districts of the Twin Tiers. Engineers for today's broadcast are Dean Luchenko, Kevin Luchenko, and Larry Brown. With additional engineering support provided by Matt Lewis, Mark Humphrey, Dave Lunder, and Nicole Conway. Sponsorships by Jackie Burke and traffic by Sue Samuelson. Station manager, Jerry Iyer. Executive producer for Scholarship Challenge is Chuck Carver. Station owners are Dave and Irene Radigan. On behalf of our students, advisors, school administrators, First Citizens Community Bank and Simmons Rockwell, additional sponsors and station staff, thank you for listening to Scholarship Challenge on WATS Air, WAVRFM Waverly, and WABO We Go. The Twin Tiers Greatest Hits, 102.1 WAVRFM.